financial institutions. Our objectives for this section are to compare and contrast three types of banks that are found in our economy. Banks operate on state, national, and international levels. There are strict rules for starting one because banks handle large amounts of money. To open a federal or a state bank in the United States, the owners have to meet special requirements. They must also apply for a charter from the federal or state government. The owner needs to prove that they have enough capital or money to start a bank. In the United States, there are three main types of banks. They are commercial banks, savings and loan associations, and credit unions. Most of the banks in the United States are commercial banks. Commercial banks offer the entire range of banking services, such as checking and savings accounts, loans, and financial advice. They are often called full-service banks. Commercial banks serve individuals and businesses. They are authorized to conduct business through a charter or license that is granted by either the federal government or a state government. To make a profit, commercial banks charge more interest on the money that they lend than the interest they pay on savings accounts. Savings and, loan, savings and loan associations are financial institutions that hold customers' funds in interest-bearing accounts and invest mainly in mortgage loans. Savings and loans were originally set up to offer savings accounts and home mortgage loans. Their purpose was to encourage people to save money and make it easier to buy a home or start a business. To do this, they charged lower interest rate on loans and paid higher interest rates on savings accounts than banks. In 1982, the government passed new regulations allowing them to charge higher interest rates and offer more services. In the late 1980s, about 20% of the savings and loan associations failed. In response, new regulations were passed. The services offered by savings and, savings and loan associations today are very similar to the services offered by commercial banks and credit unions. Credit unions are not-for-profit banks set up by organizations for their customers to use. Credit union customers are also called members. Credit unions offer members credit cards, checking accounts, low interest loans, and high interest savings accounts. Many of them also pay interest on their checking accounts. Other financial institutions, um, there are several other financial institutions that offer some of the same services as banks. Mortgage companies provide loans specifically for buying a home or business. Finance companies offer short-term loans to businesses and consumers, but at much higher interest rates than the bank charges. Insurance companies not only provide protection against problems such as fire and theft, but they also offer loans to businesses and consumers. Brokerage firms that sell stock and bonds may also offer a wide range of financial services to their customers.